Hello friends, my name is Pinaki and welcome to my channel Fintech Logics. Today we will extend our discussion to uh, 50 plus age group uh, for discussing the four quadrant method of personal finance. So let's begin. If you have not seen my earlier videos for previous uh, other age groups, uh, please have a look. I'll link uh, here. So let's begin. Now, if you are talking about 50 plus category, uh, the most of the uh, people retire at this age. So definitely the risk taking ability would be low. We would not take higher risk. High purpose because yeah, we would have already invested for 20 plus years and we should have sufficient purpose. And the view is a medium term. So this I'm uh, looking at the horizon of 15 years post your retirements up to the age of 65 to 70. Now, if I'm talking about goals, so your goals would have been much clearer at this point of time. So we should be bothered about daily chores. Kids education is something that will grow in this time. So we have to uh, put some of our investment for kids education travel as discussed will keep it uh, common for all the age groups rather we should also plan for high duration travels so your travel couples might need a higher allocation if we go to strategy primarily we will not concentrate on investment because our um, we will be in retiring stage nor credit so we would try to limit our credit exposure if it is there it should be paid off as soon as possible the primary focus would be on liquidation because whatever we have invested throughout the last 20 years there should be a proper strategy how do we liquidate that so in case of liquidation the points like your tax on returns would matter a lot so this will be primarily long term and short term capital gains if you have invested in mutual fund or house sell anything so we have to plan for the tax as well and we have to go for a systematic withdrawal plan uh, made be in terms of mutual funds or made be fixed deposit not to um, uh, disinvest the entire amount together but to do it over a period systematically so that we can let go of the tax and get the maximum benefit in our, from our investment. Insurance, the amount would not be sufficient what we have allocated till date. So insurance amount has to be increased. So that would also mean that our premium amounts also go up. So that has to be provisioned. So if you are continuing with some um, in uh, insurance throughout our previous age groups then that will come handy in terms of keeping our premium low otherwise people who go for new insurance would have to pay little more premium to meet the same uh, secured amount for their expenses medical expenses so insurance amount has to go up a little bit now instruments even if we have some surplus amount that might come from your house property uh, sale or from your share uh, sales and all we have to consider debt mutual fund or fixed deposits at this point of time looking at the security angle because we would not be prepared for the fluctuations and holding on period would be appetite would be quite low so that is why we should be looking at debt mutual funds and fds fixed deposits health insurance as we talked insurance uh, case so health insurance uh, would definitely be allocated and we'll talk about the instruments in detail other things um, i'm negating at this point of time for age group 50 in my further videos we will talk about multiple instruments right from your ppf to different types of mutual funds to different types of insurances and then i will give a picture of each age group the benefit of that instrument even if we are getting into that instrument what would be the 
the strategy for us to get in and get out i hope this set of videos uh, of all the age group of personal finance would have made the skeleton clear in your head that what is the fundamental of our decisions for our instruments that should be taken from time to time depending on the age group and goal uh, thanks a lot viewers for watching this